1945, a Danish engineer called Mads Clausen, here's a picture, who was already famous for making valves and thermostats for the refrigerating industry, agriculture and so on. And that's the gentleman who made the world's first thermostatic radiator valve, a TRV. And in the 1970s and 80s, which was boomtown for installing combis and boilers in the UK, the most popular choice that I had and many installers would be the Danfoss TRV. And here's a picture. Nowadays, we have a big problem about balancing that radiator with all the other ones. And I've made a video, there's many videos trying to solve this problem, which is very difficult. But now Danfoss has come out with a new valve, and it's this one here. It's a balancing thermostatic radiator valve. The way central heating normally works is that this pipe here is the hot water from the boiler, goes into the valve, which is always turned on full, through the radiator and out through that balancing valve which is sometimes known as lock shield and when we remove the cap there's a screw which is exactly the same as this side and we turn this up or down to try and restrict the flow from the radiator nearest the boiler getting overheated and the radiators far away and furthest away underheated so we turn that screw until we more or less guess. But that's as good as we can get. And quite often, the room that it's in is either overheated or underheated. So now with this valve, we can adjust it exactly correctly. So let's have a look what's in the box. When we look inside the thermostatic valve box and the model number is RASB2. We will find not just this valve and the radiator adapter but we'll also find another valve here which replaces that one there. So we have to replace both the valves on every radiator in the house and that means that we need to drain down flush the system and fill it up with some inhibitor to protect it because we're going to start from new. When we remove this cap here, there's a screw valve, the same as all of them, and we make sure that this is open full and it can be fitted either on that side or this side depending how we want to set up the systems because the thermostatic part of this is directional so we can either fit it here or we can fit it on the return which is the recommended place because that's a balancing valve uh, therefore that's the ideal position to be in we also get our thermostatic sensor so this is an air sensor and it's designed to keep the room that it's in at the maximum temperature that we want. So a bedroom might be 16, 17, a lounge may be 20. So we adjust this turret across the top to this level that we want. We also get a cap, a manual cap, which fits on here. And we use this either for decorating, so we can turn the whole valve off completely and remove the radiator for decorating, as I said. Um, or we can just take it off and we'll find that there are numbers and here's some close-ups and they go from 1 to 7 and N which is fully opened and all we need to do is to download the app and that'll tell us which number or letter that we adjust the radiator to in that room. What we also get is the leaflet that instructs everything so we've got the positioning the numbers everything is so easily written out that it's a straightforward job to go from these 
which costs an, a lot of money and they're uncontrollable to something smart as this dynamic valve is. So let's have a look at the next stage which is going to be putting the valve on the flow side. To change from this rubbish uncontrolled valve into smart is very easy because nowadays most radiators will have this adapter which fits neatly into the new Danfoss dynamic valve. So we just had to undo the valves, put the new one in and tighten it up and that's the end and the same thing on the other side. So this is on the flow and we simply use the app and there are six very simple steps to find out which number between 1 and 7 or the letter N we dial to balance this radiator with all of the other ones. So now let's cut to, I'll move this radiator to its best position which is on the return. The last job is simply to put the sensor onto the body, tighten up the ring and the job is complete. It's just as easy as possible to do. And now we've got a really good balanced system.